Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson Brink, and we are one. So today, I want to talk about revising one of my guides, and that is for the Xbox Gaming Ultimate Pass uh, cloud gaming service, that is, essentially. is where you can play games from Xbox, aka Microsoft's uh, cloud in the sky, that you can uh, essentially not have to have the firepower on your Steam Deck or on, you know, wherever you're playing it. And you can play it from a computer in, you know, somewhere else. And it does really well in the Steam Deck. And I've already done this guide before. It's just there's a couple of hiccups and a couple of updates that have happened since I did that guide. So I want to update this and make sure that everyone has a good experience. Because I know that a lot of people had some hangups on the last one. And it's even just doesn't work now with some of the updates that Microsoft Edge has. So with that, let's get into it before we talk any more. But... I almost forgot. Make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now we can get into this guide. What you need to do first is you need to search for Edge. And you'll do this in the Discover app. And it's usually by default at the bottom in your taskbar here. It will, it will be uh, the Discover app right here. Then you can go ahead and download Microsoft Edge. You don't, my last uh, guide had Microsoft Edge beta or... Uh, alpha, can't remember, but don't get that one. Just get this one. It works fine with this one now, Microsoft Edge. Once you have it, you can launch it to just, I would do the initial launch, honestly. Um, it, won't, it will essentially ask you for a couple of things to just get into the base of this. Um, just get that out of the way. Just one little recommendation. And then you can add it to Steam. And you'll see I have a little guide right here. Next, we're going to add it to Steam. And you can actually, this is a new way I found out you could do it. You can actually do it by going to Internet, Microsoft Edge, right-click, and add to Steam. So if you see any, if you've downloaded anything um, from the Discover Store as a flat pack, and you see it in here, or if you see anything in here you want to add to Steam, you can just go ahead and right-click and add that to Steam. It's a honestly kind of a cool little thing I didn't know about. Okay, but to adhere to kind of my guide, we're gonna go with this route, the add a non-Steam game. And then we can go down and hit Microsoft Edge, add selected programs. And you can see, search for it, go to your library, search for Edge. You'll see that, hey, it pops up right here. Awesome, it's looking good so far. We have it in Steam, awesome. We need to do one thing to enable controller support. Let's just go ahead and set up our controller support so we don't forget about that. Um, you're going to want to, and this is one thing where I kind of recommend doing a lot of this stuff with a keyboard and mouse. If you don't have access to a keyboard and mouse, you can hit the Steam button and then the X to open up the keyboard as long as you have Steam running. So uh, go ahead and copy and paste this by either right-clicking or you can copy and paste with hitting the left trackpad and copying. Um, and then oftentimes it will all, it can also have a copy button up here, like in the, the terminal right up here, this console. We'll have a copy and paste. Now, once we've had that copied, we put it, we go to the console, which once again, it, it's, it's not, I don't think it defaults to down here. You can go into your application settings and uh, you can go ahead and search for that. Usually it's in the system console. This is a terminal where we're gonna, it's gonna seem a little scary, but it's not. We're just gonna be doing some simple commands. And so we're gonna go ahead and paste this in. Um, you can either uh, control V, if you're on a keyboard, right click or click this paste button. Um, if it's on a keyboard, do control shift V and that will do a clean copy, not copy anything over in case you're copying it from the web or anything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter if you're on the uh, Steam Deck, you're going to bring up the, the keyboard with the uh, Steam X, hit enter. And then if nothing happens, that means it was successful. If a bash command like this, if a command like this does fail, it will scream at you. Most commands will scream at you if it fails or offer some uh, good information in return. A little bit of advice on the terminal stuff. Okay, next up. Uh, now that we have that controller support stuff going on, let's go ahead and add this support in. And this is where some of the things have changed from the original uh, guide that I made. 
So we're going to just go ahead, copy this. Once again, you mentioned multiple ways to copy it. I'm going to do Control-C, uh, my preferred way of doing it. Then we're going to open up our Steam client, go to our settings. You can also right-click on over there, just showing you multiple ways to do this. And then uh, you'll see, hey, we already have a ton of commands in here. We do not want to delete this. This is bad if we delete it. But you, you go down to where it has a bunch of the at symbols and all that. You get to the very end, make sure to space. And that's one of the ones, this is a tip that I've noticed other people run into issues on the internet and both on the internet, Reddit, and also my last guide. We're going to go ahead and copy paste that. Now, my last guide had, uh, I had it in quotes, in double quotes. This is one of the things that was hanging up. Um, if you try it this way without the double quote quotes and it doesn't work, try it with the double quotes, but it should work this way. Now, what this is essentially doing is we're setting the scale down to the Steam Deck screen size, and then we're going to enter kiosk mode, which just makes it treat it like a regular application. So you can't see all the other tabs and uh, settings and just everything else. It makes it feel more like an application. Now, once we're done doing that, um, you can close out. You can load it up if you want. It's a little annoying to quit out of it in this mode. Um, you could just trust me from this point on if you want. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and select a controller layout. This is also very important to know. It's not going to work unless you select the proper controller layout. Go to templates. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. Gamepad with mouse trackpad. This is what's recommended by the Microsoft Guide. Then we're going to go ahead, and this is another important part where I believe people have mistakenly skipped. Apply configuration and then done. Once you've applied configuration and everything, it should work. Now, if you load it up here, there's a good chance it won't work. I haven't had it work in desktop mode. It will work in game mode. Also note that, and we'll get into that and show you in a little bit. But before we do that, let's make sure this looks a little nicer. So we're gonna go to our Chrome. We're going to put this little, uh, this little URL in, and I will say any of the commands and the URLs that I have in this guide will be in the description below. Go ahead and just paste that bad boy into your Chrome browser. It will download a file into your downloads folder, which we can find right on over here if we just click in to our Dolphin browser for folders and files. And then we can see, hey, look at that. It's all zipped up. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and unzip this. We're going to be doing the Xbox Cloud Gaming. Now, if you don't want to make it so that Edge can't do anything else, then, uh, you know, if you want Microsoft Edge's, like, normal graphics, then you can use this file or folder. If you want the Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, graphics that look a little nicer, especially if you're just mainly going to be doing that. That would be another complete tutorial I'm not going to get into. So, okay, we got the icons there, and we know where to find them. Okay, and then let's go into the properties. You can see, hey, there's a little icon there. Hmm, that's a little suspect. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being goofy. Uh, and then we can go ahead and go to our downloads folder, which is going to be home deck downloads. And for the most part, probably going to be the same location for most people. This is another thing you're going to need to do. All files. Okay, we're going to find the one with icon. Open. Oh, look at that. We have a nice, pretty little icon there. Now, right here, we're going to set the banner. So let's go ahead and set custom background. Okay, we're going to do the, the exact same thing. We need to go to home deck downloads. Click into that. Click into the next one. Got to also do show all, select that, mm, looking sexy. <laughs> and then uh, this is one thing I typically do. I just throw it in the favorites. And then you can see the pill version. Right click that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add set custom artwork. Going to need to do home deck downloads. And then we're going to get the capsule. Okay. Now, 
I've had this not update right away when doing it like this. So let's just go out, go in. There we go. It updated and everything should be working. Now let's go on over to the game mode. Um, so if you have it, it's this nice little button right here. Let's go ahead and just click that. Okay, now that we're in here, you can see, hey, look, we got Microsoft Edge here. You can also find it, and I've, I've, I've recently opened it. Um, if you go to your library, you can also find it in your non-Steam games area. And look, it has the beautiful graphic that we added. So we can go ahead and click into this. Play. It should launch up if everything went well. And then because the screen we're recording, you're going to see it's not going to match up perfectly on this. It's just how it works. Now, you're going to have to log in. So let's see here. You're going to have to log in. I've already done this. This is also another tip that you need to know that when you're logging in, for some reason, the controller doesn't work. You're going to have to use the touch screen. So you're going to have to tap on to the fields. That should open up the keyboard. If it does not, once again, hold down the Steam button and hold and press X. It will then open up the keyboard. You can put your username or your email and then your password, and then you can log in. Once you get to this step, it then works. The, the, everything should work. Like when you're using the D-pad, it should go up and down. If you're using the joystick, it should go up and down. You can go into one of these games and play it. You, if you hit A on it, hey, look at that. It works. So that's all you need to know. It should now work for you even in the game. And then if you need to exit this, I just usually hit the Steam button and hit exit game. And it should quit out of Microsoft Edge. So you can also rename it to Xbox Cloud Gaming if you want. That's also another option you can do in the settings. And uh, really, that is it. With that, let me know in the comments below, was this easier than the last guide? Did it give you a little bit more information than you had in the last guide? And did it maybe allow you to actually add the Xbox Cloud Gaming service to your Steam Deck so you could actually play it? I want to know. And if you run into any other issues, let me know in the comments below. I will try to get to it as soon as possible. And so with that, um, thanks for watching this guide and everything else. And it just a reminder, if you like this, if it helped, make sure to, to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar, and also check out the description below. There are some affiliate links in there, but there's just there's stuff down there that's useful. Um, I also have a website, gamesreveal.com. Check that out. I'll have more articles, and I'll even have a written um, content piece on this too. So with that being said, that's well, that's all being said. So thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.